Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new week in my life vlog. Today is Monday, obviously, start of the week. And unfortunately, the weather has been so shitty lately and luckily i think i saw some like partly cloudy sunny days this week so i'm really really hyped about that because i just feel like seasonal depression is hitting a little too early this year um but this week's gonna be very fun and exciting because i'm starting my birthday celebrations i'm doing a little birthday pregame on friday night and then we're probably just gonna go to west and east sixth so I'm looking forward to it um, and then obviously just like planning for New York because we're going right after Thanksgiving and I've never been during the Christmas lights so very pumped for that and this week's just gonna be me getting my shit together because I'm gonna be gone for a very very long time so um, I'm leaving I think on the 21st of November and then I only get back December 6th and then I'm here for like a week or so and then go back to Georgia for like the rest of the year um, so so I just want to soak up all the time that I can just chilling in my apartment and then also like organizing it because I really want to try to do that before I leave. This morning we are starting off the day with a little matcha date. We're going to Sun Life Organics. I think I've been here like two times. The first time I tried a smoothie that was incredibly overpriced and literally not that good. The second time I tried their matcha and I honestly cannot remember what I think about it. So we're going to try it again um, and then get like maybe some add-ons because I just feel like matcha is never sweet enough for me I always have to go back and add sweetener I'm meeting up with my friend Hannah in a couple minutes um, but I'm loving my fit today I am really channeling like Pinterest winter girl and honestly I'm kind of glad that it got really cold in Austin because it's giving me a little bit of a taste for what it's gonna be like in New York not to the level of coolness it's gonna be but just to remind me that i really do need to pack like a lot of layers and like gloves and like all the things um and i worked out today washed my hair i did like a little oil treatment this morning um just because i feel like my scalp needed some tlc i did a little light makeup and i've been trying out like a couple different foundations because all of a sudden i have a ton from the sephora sale and milk makeup actually sent me some and i am obsessed with the milk makeup one i don't know how the frame they like matched my color so well but they did an even better job than I did at the Sephora sale because one of the colors that I got was not a good match um, but I'm wearing like a little bit of the foundation and concealer and it like looks pretty dang good like almost full coverage and I swear I put the, like the teeniest amount like I said I'm trying out like so many different foundations because I want to like try to minimize my makeup routine before you know I go traveling and have to like carry it all in my suitcase there's no way I need to bring like four foundations home so even though I want to but it's just not practical there's been a change of plans because there wasn't that many seats at Sun Life so I think we're just gonna go to Soho House because Hannah has a membership but I feel bad because we were supposed to go to Maribu and I was saying it's like raining today and they don't have that much seating outside. And then I didn't remember that it was raining and that Sun Life doesn't have that many seats outside or inside. Anyways, going to Sun House. It was so good to catch up with Hannah. And actually, Hannah and I have the same birthday, November 25th. So she's turning 25 this year, and then I'm turning 26. But I just packaged up my Fashion Pass package, and I am going to just drop it off at FedEx really quick. But they actually just upgraded like all the plans. So I think that this new plan that I upgraded to allows me to select my pieces right when this gets scanned in so you don't have to wait till it ships out or like ships to them which is so nice because you know i feel like that's how it should be to be very real with you guys my kitchen has been an insane mess for the past week or so because i just did this like apartment friendly renovation so i just did the backsplash like a stick on backsplash but i have been meaning to do the corner and finish it up because there's still some holes you can't see it, it's on that side um but I still need to finish it up so today we are getting it done we're cleaning the house and we're gonna feel a little less anxious i do have a lot of computer work to do too but i just feel like 
if my apartment is a mess, it is so hard for me to focus and like get other tasks done. So we're doing it. We have the extra backsplash. It actually came in on Friday, so I could have totally done this over the weekend, but I just watched a Lindsay Lohan interview, very random, but I love that she's like coming back. Like, I feel like it's kind of random, but I was talking to someone else because she actually had a TV show where she has this club in one of the Greek islands, I think Mykonos, I'm not really sure, but it was like a reality show that she had, um, the workers like being filmed at the club and it was actually kind of interesting obviously probably didn't make it to season two but during that time i was like oh like Lindsay lohan on the show she was like kind of like socially awkward it was just weird and then i never really heard about her again but then she just came out with a new christmas movie on netflix which i'm like dying to watch but like I kind of want to wait till I get home to watch it because I feel like when I go home, it's really going to be like the holiday spirit, which is like definitely closer to Thanksgiving. I'm just not someone who celebrates it like right after Halloween. Maybe when I get a house, possibly. I just posted a TikTok actually that um, said, I just feel like the holidays are going to be so much better, like a hundred times better when I actually own my own house. And it went viral and everyone's saying, no, you're just going to be poor because everything's so expensive. And I'm like, honestly, you were so right. And I've been saying this in vlogs before, but I definitely want to buy a house within the next like year or two. And last year we actually went to a couple home stores like right after the holidays and got like a bunch of like cute little ornaments on sale. But we just never have a tree here because first of all i'm gone for like all of the holiday season and also i just don't want to put a tree in storage even if it's a mini tree it still takes up space valuable space i'm going to finish this backsplash it really isn't that much more i just have to finish this one little corner Everything like in its place and it's all done. It's gonna look so good. Good morning, happy Tuesday. I went for a full glam look this morning because I'm going to go take pictures with my friend Mariana and we are probably just gonna go to Waterloo Park, but before that, I'm taking Sophie to her grooming appointment. She's getting a little haircut just to trim. I'm really not gonna go too short. Like she looks like a boy every time, you know, she gets cut. So I'm really gonna make sure she only gets a little bit of trim, but I wanna make sure she like looks pretty and presentable before bringing her home. Cause her face is getting a little long, like near her eyes and everything. This is her before, as you can see around her eyes, the hairs are just getting a little too long and I tried to trim her up. So I kind of botched it. So they'll probably make her look even cuter. You ready to get pretty? I just dropped Sophie off and it makes me so sad to see her like so scared, you know? And I know she doesn't do well <laughs> at the groomers most of the time. I also forgot to even look at the battery of my camera. It's never like really like dead, but today it's actually so close to dying. So I might have to vlog our little shoot on my iPhone um, but I just got to Waterloo Park and my hair just fell so bad and I even pinned it like after I curled everyone I pinned it I did it with a Dyson air wrap and I'm just like what the frick can anyone tell me has anyone cracked the code to get your Dyson air wrap curls to actually stay like they used to stay when I had shorter hair but now that I have longer hair and it's just like pulling it down, I feel like that's my issue. So we just shot two outfits today, but honestly, that's better than nothing. And now I am probably gonna go home. I was thinking about going to Costco to get stuff for my birthday, like freezer food, because I wanna have like, you know, light bites, just so no one's hungry at the pregame. But I think I'm gonna go later when I have to pick up Sophie because the place is like two miles away from Costco. And so, you know, you gotta be efficient around here. Since it's finally sunny today, I'm definitely gonna take advantage and film a buttload of shit because I 
put on false lashes this morning. And sometimes that just makes me feel a little bit more confident to like film, I guess, which is weird and kind of sad, but whatever. <laughs> I just like put them on. And I also have a couple of galleries to edit for my photography clients today. I am back home and this day has already gone by so fast and I feel like I woke up really early to get ready and make sure, you know, I wasn't rushed to drop off Sophie. Um, but it is noon and I'm gonna have some breakfast or lunch. I don't really even know what exactly I want. I actually um, cooked some salmon and green beans last night and then decided that I actually need to clean out my freezer. So I ended up eating a frozen meal. So I put the salmon and green beans in like a container. So maybe I'll eat that for dinner, but I'm not really feeling that for lunch right now. I do want to make a smoothie though. My bananas are going bad. Shocker. They always go bad. <laughs> um, but I try to make, you know, some kind of smoothie or banana bread or like freeze them and cut them up. Um, so I want to make a smoothie today and then that will also get rid of or hopefully minimize so much of the frozen fruits. And if I haven't already said this, basically the reason why I want to get rid of a lot of my frozen food is one, I'm leaving next week so just to you know clean out the freezer a little bit but also because um i'm gonna have some friends over this friday and like i said i wanted to get some frozen bites but if i go to costco the bags of frozen food are humongous so i definitely need to make sure i'm ready for that um with the freezer and that's another reason why i just i'm so excited to have a house one day because I'm gonna spend so much on a fridge. I just know myself and once I have a house, I'm gonna get like a really deep fridge with a lot of freezer space or at least like have a fridge outside in the garage because I feel like we always used to have one of those like growing up. And it was just so nice because you could just throw in like, you know, frozen nons or anything you don't really touch on an everyday basis in the outside fridge. We have a lot of spinach that we need to eat and a great way of getting rid of it is to put it in your smoothie because you can barely taste it. All right, so we have peaches, mango, and a little bit of strawberries. And honestly, I just want to get rid of it all. So I think we're just going to do a little mashup of everything. This is a lot of peaches, but we'll see what that tastes like. A little bit of milk. see what the thickness is like. Ooh, it's perfect. I just added a little bit more milk, but I don't think it needs any ice because I feel like all the frozen fruit did the job. It is taste test time. Let's see. It's like, oh my God, guys, I didn't even add the banana. I'm like, that is so sour and not sweet at all that's where i fucked up all right well let me just add that real quick <laughs> so one of the brand deals i signed to do was for the holidays with amazon and they kind of stopped replying for a while and they actually updated me and said that the campaign got pushed back luckily it's still happening so that's exciting but i'm gonna have to probably film it when i'm back home in georgia and I don't know. Like, I feel like I'm just so used to filming in my apartment. So that'll be interesting figuring that out. Um, but I have to send in some video concepts. Like, they changed the whole campaign too. So, like, I had already sent in three video concepts. And now I have to send in some more for, like, a whole different, um, like, idea and everything. So... That's what I'm going to do so I can get that checked off my list. Got my concept submitted. I just finished editing today's video. It's a Skims haul, so it's going to be a good one. It's a short video, but I thought, you know, something's better than nothing and it's a try on video so sometimes like long try on videos it's just like very repetitive so i kept it short but i heated up just like a frozen meal 
like I said, I wanted to get rid of all of the stuff in my freezer or as much as I can because um, I just got the text that Sophie is ready to be picked up. And so right after that, I'm going to go to Costco. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to get for like the birthday pregame. Just kind of like a lot of like snacky foods, like finger foods that are easy and not messy. I'm just wondering why they always have to put a blue little collar on you. You are a girl. She should get a pink one. What are these gnomes? <laughs> didn't really see that much frozen food at Costco. It really caught my eye um, and I already have like a bunch of chicken tenders in the freezer so I'm just gonna do that. Mozzarella sticks and probably just like a cheese board situation um, but I got these flowers from Costco and the roses are not doing great and I guess they didn't really have that much good selection like one rose just fell off. <laughs> Um, oh shoot, okay, that's not good. Um, but I've heard that it's good to like take off the leaves of the flowers and then I'm gonna cut them like at an angle. Oh, and I'm also removing some of the flower petals that look like they're, you know, on its last leg so they don't contaminate the other ones. I'm gonna use these on Friday and then hopefully on Sunday too. Um, because I think I'm able to bring like my own flowers to brunch and I feel like, you know, why not just spruce up the place a little bit? I'm a little worried because it's like so freaking cold outside that I don't think it's like warming up anytime soon. Oh, this rose is like really going through it. <laughs> but, um, the brunch is outside on Sunday, so I just need to make sure I dress warm. I actually just made my fashion pass order for the week and got like two coats that I could possibly wear. For some reason, I thought I had a way busier week than I did, um, but tomorrow I'm gonna go to a coffee shop with my friend Nagin, and then I'm photographing a blogger that I shoot with on a monthly basis. And then I'm going to start, oh wait, actually I have friends giving tomorrow. So pumped about that. And I got my um, dish ingredients. I'm making sweet potato casserole. I was on the phone with my dad and I was telling him that, you know, I signed up to make that. And only after I realized how much work that entails. Um, but I was telling him I'm going to make sweet potato casserole and stuff. And he was like, I, like what is that? And I was like, what do you mean, what is it? <laughs> He was like, I don't, like, I've never had marshmallows on my sweet potatoes. And I was like, what? Like, I guess he just never ate it at Thanksgiving? I don't know. That's kind of wild to me. But anyways, so that'll be fun to, like, you know, cook, I guess. This morning I texted my mom and my sister to like not watch the Lindsay Lohan Christmas movie without me because when I'm home for the holidays, I feel like we're always watching like shows on Netflix, movies on Netflix. So I was like, please don't watch it. And my mom always just sees everything right when it comes out. So it's really hard for us to find something that we all haven't watched. So that's why I warned them.
it is Wednesday and I woke up with like a little bit of a headache on one side of my head which is so odd to feel and it's not even like a really big headache it's more of like if I bend down I just feel so much tension like right here so that's interesting I do not feel sick one bit so I don't know if it's like I need to drink more water or what. So we're switching back to the OG Stanley Cup for today. Um, and I just need to like hydrate more, honestly, like in general, I just need to be drinking this much water. But I do love my other Stanley Cup. Um, let me go get it to show you guys. I got this one after I purchased that one originally because this is just more practical because you can actually close the straw lid and it does not spill. Like that's amazing. And it's perfect for um, taking it to shoots and stuff because I can just slide it in my backpack. And obviously with this big one, <laughs> that would be kind of hard. Um, and I did buy one of these little stoppers, but I can never really trust this thing because I've just had too many scares where water has come very close or, you know, like ruined technology of mine. So I just want to be super careful. I definitely need to wash this before I fill it up. Um, but this morning I'm going to a new coffee shop with my friend Nagin. Um, and then I have a shoot with a blogger at 2 p.m. And then tonight is Friendsgiving at my friend Mackenzie's place. And last night I actually started to prepare the sweet potatoes because I'm making sweet potato casserole, like I said. And I just like literally put it in the Instant Pot. It was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be because the skin just kind of came right off. Um, so then after I get back from my shoot, I'm going to put the streusel and stuff all over it so i guess there's a couple different ways i can do it like i can put marshmallow and streusel or maybe just marshmallow or just streusel i'm not really sure but i think i like the marshmallow ones and i haven't really had it like that in a while so i might just do well i bought marshmallow so <laughs> i feel like i should just go ahead and use it <laughs> Got the bad boy filled up and i actually got a huge package from a brand last night and i wanted to wait to open it with you guys so let's do that now because i'm so excited to see what's in there Look how big this box is like what could possibly be in here it's just like a lot of bubble wrap it seems like the package is from goop and funny story about this brand ryan actually told me about it and honestly in general, I feel like Ryan definitely knows trends before I do. Like, he was telling me, he keeps telling me actually, like, camo's really in right now. You should get camo pants or you should get camo this. And he was also telling me that I should have gotten dunks instead of the New Balance shoes that I just got. Um, but I was really feeling the New Balances because they're just more chunky. Anyways, he knew about Goop before I did. He's a very trendy boy. Um, but they sent me over some skincare stuff. This one is Goop Jeans All-in-One Nourishing Face Cream. Um, Microderm Instant Glow Exfoliator. That sounds amazing. <gasps> Guys, I got a dry brush. I have like one I bought on Amazon. But this looks like so much more like ergonomic honestly because the other one didn't have a handle it just like had this part so i would like you know be cramping it by the end of it but this is so cool next step is glow lotion is this for your face or i'm guessing yeah face clean nourishing lip balm i'm gonna have to give this a go right now <laughs> i wonder how long it's gonna last though but first impression, very like luxurious feeling. And then this one is the Microderm Instant Glow Body Polish. tried a new coffee shop. What do we think? I think it's great. I think it's great because 
there's kind of a lot of outlets like near those tables over there. They don't have outlets over here, but right on this side of the coffee shop, there's a lot of outlets. We ran in a breakfast taco. And I had a problem with that. Yeah. <laughs> so, wait, how's your coffee? But like, very good. Mm -hmm. Like, how good can like black coffee be? Six. <laughs> My matcha was probably a five. Nothing great about it. Mm. But I would come back for the vibes for sure. And it's like in the area, so. Very cute. It's 5 p.m. and I came home from my shoot with my blogger client and then I prepared this sweet potato casserole and last night, I think I told you guys this, but I made sure to just get the sweet potato softened and like just get that out of the way. Um, so today I just made the streusel topping, put on the marshmallows and it looks so good. I cannot wait to dig in and just eat so much Thanksgiving food, but I want to pick out like a cuter fall outfit. I love this top. It's actually from Amazon, but honestly, I've been sweating it a little bit. I'm going to take a quick shower um, and then we'll see what my outfit is because I have no idea what I'm going to wear. <laughs> Friendsgiving. This is the setup so far, but I brought some candles. Say hi. Hey. <laughs> Ready, go. Turn it off. Yeah. Ooh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was like, um, did anything? Wow. Oh, wait, I think we decided though that we would keep this one. That's a little better. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. That's cute. It's so fancy. Oh my gosh, look at the city. I didn't even like realize that. <laughs> Rana, what are you making? I'm, I'm making an apple cider pear mimosa. Yum. With like a golden apple. In it. So yum. Are you doing a little cheese board situation? What is that? It's a little mustard. Hi. Good morning, it is Thursday. I've had a pretty chill day. I did my nails and I did gel toes and hands. And I literally want to scream because it took me like so freaking long to do them because I had to take off all of my gel and then I wanted to do like this Russian manicure thing that I've heard about. They look like fine. I definitely thought I could do a better job. And every time I try to do my own gel nails, I'm like, okay, you know what? It is worth it to spend money to get them done. But then when I'm at the salon, I never like am super happy with them. So then I'm annoyed that I spend so much money on my nails to not even like them. So at least this time I did it myself. I didn't have to spend money and like they're fine. But the fact that this one just like peeled off a little... Anyways, <laughs> I wanted to do a little comparison between these two sweaters because I got this one from Amazon last fall and this one is from Free People and this one is a dupe for this one. So this is the Easy Street tunic, I believe, and I was just super influenced because I've just seen so many people wearing like the actual one this um, season and I wanted to see what the difference was because... Like I said, this is pretty much an exact dupe. Like if I'm just showing you these two, you would think it's the same sweater from like the same place. So I'm gonna try them on and we're gonna figure it out together. This is the Free People one. There is like little slits off the side, which is super cute. I feel like it's kind of not choking me, but it is like tighter than I thought it would be around the neck. And then I love these sleeves, how they're like balloony, but then 
comes in tight. Originally, I purchased the large and it was way too big, so I had to do a little exchange. And so this is actually just in a medium size. And this is where it comes on me. If I'm feeling both materials, I actually prefer the Amazon one because it's a little bit softer. And like this one just like has like a weird film on it. Maybe it's because I haven't washed it yet and I've definitely washed this one. But I feel like this one's just like a little, yeah, like more elastic almost. And this one's just like a little stiffer of a sweater. Here's the Amazon dupe. The slit is the same. And pretty much like everything about this sweater is the same. Like it has these stitches on the sides, just like the original. But I'm telling you guys, the material is different. And I think I still prefer the Amazon material just because it is like a little bit more comfy, you know? I just feel like this one from Free People, like it's comfy. Maybe if I washed it, I kind of want to wash it, but I don't know if I should keep it. If I like the Amazon one more because I bet the Amazon one comes in white. The one big difference about these two is that the collar on this one is a lot tighter. So it's definitely more of a mock neck where this one, I didn't take off my shirt underneath, but you could see my collar because it's a little bit wider. That one actually definitely looks like bigger and just like thicker in general. I think it is like a thicker material, um, but this is a size large in the Amazon one. While we're here and um, trying on clothes, I have two packages. Um, this one is the TikTok Viral Airy Set. It has finally arrived, so I'm going to try that on. And then um, I have something that I am probably going to wear for my birthday. Um, the main part of my outfit is literally supposed to come tomorrow by 10 p.m. And my free game starts at 6, so we're just really, really going to hope and pray that it comes in time. <laughs> Um, I did overnight an Amazon glittery top, and worst comes to worst, I'll just wear that, but I was really looking forward to wearing this show post set. Airy is so underrated, guys. I'm pretty sure I actually have this exact um, little sweater from Airy because I just did a campaign with them, a holiday campaign, um, and it was in the gray color, but I didn't know it was a whole set, and these pants are so comfortable. They have like a little split hem, which I love. They're more like a straight leg pant and they're high waisted. So that's a win. Um, and I got both of these in a size large and it's just like the cutest color. This is, this is my color, you guys know this. So what's in here is a part of my birthday outfit, I think. We'll see if it like actually goes together. I've never ordered from 12th Tribe, but I've heard so much about it. And honestly, the prices are not that bad for a boutique. So this is a blazer and it has these like little feather wrists. I honestly thought it was gonna be a little thicker. So I'm kind of disappointed in that um, because this was literally going to be my coat. I mean, we're gonna go out and I don't wanna be freezing cause my outfit shows, you know, good amount of skin. Like I'm not wearing leggings or anything. And I got a size large in this. I know I'm wearing a sweater under it so I probably should have taken this off, but. Um, okay guys, I really don't know if this was the vibe, and I'm not just saying that because I have a sweater underneath and I'm too lazy to take it off, but I thought it was going to be more oversized and thicker, but I do have another option. I have a hot pink blazer, which is thicker and more oversized, and I got it at H&M for honestly way cheaper. Oh my god, this was an XL. This was not an XL. That was not oversized. Okay, I'm kind of upset because I don't really know how their returns work, honestly. I probably should have looked that up because I've never um, bought from them. But it's a good thing I got that backup, that hot pink blazer then. In the next hour, I'm going to Uber over to um, downtown. I'm meeting up with my friend Natasha because we're going to take like a photo, probably just like in one outfit that we're wearing tonight. But then we're going to the Miracle on 5th Street bar. It's like this Christmas decked out bar. And I want to say I've never been to one of these. I do remember one time it was either me and my sister or my mom or me and Ryan or even both. I think we tried to go like with both people. Um, but we just, the, the line was just way too long and we were like, there's no way. Um, Cause it's popping always. And they have these in a bunch of cities. So I am so excited to finally go and check it out. Um, I'm kind of curious to where it actually is, like what bar they're taking over or like 
if they just make their own little bar for like only the holidays. I'm kind of curious about that. So shall be interesting to see. And in the email, they said that they were going to have food, which I was not expecting. So here's to another day where I don't have to cook. Here's the outfit of the night featuring my new jacket from H&M. This thing's like really thick and I'm going to be probably really hot in the bar. So I just have a white long sleeve on underneath. I think this is from Zara. Um, and then my pants are from Shein. These used to be my favorite jeans and then unfortunately I grew out of them and I tried them on like, I don't know, a month or two ago, three months. I don't really know how long ago it was, but I couldn't fit into them and they like barely would button and I tried them on today and they look fantastic and I'm so freaking happy. I, I don't know. I'm just very, very happy. Like honestly, I haven't really even been like working out it's more so like just cutting down portions and then i know they always say like listen to your body but like really i'm just like listening to my body if it's hungry i'm gonna feed it if it's not then i don't need to eat i mean sometimes i like to snack but i feel like i've definitely cut down on snacking too i'm wearing my amazon boots which these are so freaking comfortable earrings are from amazon well close up for you guys they're chunky and i literally wear them every single day i think they're like under 20 dollars i will try to link everything below kind of pissed i forgot to like go to sleep in my um heatless curler thing i swear i've been doing it like almost every single night and honestly i end up always just throwing it up in a claw clip right when i style my hair and i'm just like what was the point of that i just don't understand we're downtown i'm with natasha don't don't judge me <laughs> i'm just getting lasik tomorrow which honestly i'm jealous of i don't yeah. know like well, only one of my eyes is like technically bad. Like I you barely... can get it in one eye. Oh, yeah. And it's probably like half the price, right? Yeah. Mm. It's so not worth bad, it. Not bad. I never wear glasses, by the way. We're gonna um, go take pictures and then head into Miracle and Fifth. We just want like a plain background because we are neutral girlies, and I just feel like even if like the city is in the background, it's like too cluttered and like. I know it's not that deep, but like I'm trying to keep an, up an aesthetic. Her aesthetic is <laughs> unmatched. Like un <laughs> literally, I so, go to it for my. Oh install my god, all the time. so sweet. Uh, but like, I just want like a plain background. So we're headed over to. I've shot at this place before. I don't even know what it is. Do you know? It's Natasha like the City Hall or something. Yeah, like courthouse, city hall. I don't yeah, even know. Or courthouse, maybe. <laughs> yeah. This but. is actually a fun fact. This is where Sonali and I went for our first date like yes. two years ago or yes. more. We went to Wu Chow, which is right across the street, and really then good. we took photos after. <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, you're wearing Gosh, a cute outfit. Girlies. Gotta get that pick. Yeah. Work and play. Okay, this is where we are right now, and this is perfect. Yes, literally. Neutral perfect. background. Not too cluttered. I was telling the vlog that I've actually tried to go to this like pop up in Atlanta like two times. Oh, really? But they the line been. has always been so long. Yeah. So I'm excited we get to go for like a VIP like opening night kind of thing. Yeah. But we're going to make it an early night tonight <laughs> because we love a good early oh, night. Oh, yeah, we do. <laughs> I just got home from the event and it's officially open now so definitely recommend checking it out if you want to be put in the christmas spirit my hair's doing all kinds of crazy things i definitely need to wash it tonight or tomorrow morning but 
I just had like the best conversation with my Lyft driver. Um, and yesterday I actually listened to a podcast about manifesting. One of my followers recommended that I listen to Mel Robbins podcast. And usually I don't really listen to like self help podcasts. I feel like they're usually like girly, just like mindless podcasts just to have in the background. But she talked about the four steps to manifesting and i've always really been into manifesting i would say like i think it started off as a joke like oh i'm manifesting a parking spot and i still say that because i do <laughs> i do manifest it but i feel like i say that as like i wish for this or you know i want this to happen but I realized from her podcast that you actually have to put in the work, like especially the longer term goals and like manifestations, you obviously have to do the work. Basically, you can't just manifest something and it's gonna like magically happen. And I didn't really like think that fully, but I think that I didn't really understand truly what manifesting was. I don't even know if I'm making sense right now. But basically my Lyft driver told me something that was very on par with like what she was saying. And I was like, this is so interesting to hear because I just had listened to this podcast and she was basically saying the same thing. And he was like, he was getting in his feels. Like he was like, let me give you one piece of advice. And I feel like this is not the first time this has happened. Like I love when this happens though, because like you just meet so many different people from different like parts of the world and they have different mindsets and it's cool to hear how they think so basically he was saying that there's two mindsets and one is you know i want to go to iceland but i need the money or i want to go to dental school but i don't want to go to more school after i go to college basically that is like the but mindset the other mindset is the go-getter mindset and basically it would be something like, I wanna to go to Iceland, it's a lot of money, I should probably start looking for another job. Or start a side hustle, find another way to make money. I will never be able to replicate his words because he was really articulate and just said it in a way that really spoke to my heart. He was just saying like your mindset is going to determine your success and I like 100% believe in that. And it's just like interesting to hear. Natasha, who I was with today, um, she's also really big into manifesting and we were talking about it too. And I feel like I just need like a reset to really like think about what I want in my life and like what are my goals because I'm not gonna lie, like I feel like I'm just kind of floating by in life right now. Like obviously I have like my bigger goals, but like what is the daily actions that I can take to actually get me to that goal. I don't know guys, I have like a lot of thinking to do and I feel like I just don't have the time to do the thinking. Um, but I'm really planning on like doing that whole mindset reset when I get home because I feel like whenever I go home, I get really lazy with social media and just like posting a lot. So hopefully I'll use that time to really just like relax and then also think about like what i want to do in the new year and like things i want to change if i want to change anything i just feel like i needed to share that message because i just thought it was really interesting that first i listened to the podcast then i heard this like random lyft driver say something super super aligned with it i'm actually gonna end the vlog here if you guys don't already follow me on instagram or tiktok go ahead and do so it is so underscore gnarly without the g and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.